three shootings over two days in California have claimed 19 lives and injured more than a dozen others. They happened at a ballroom, two farms, and a gas station. CBS News correspondent Max Darrow has the latest from Monterey Park, which is near Los Angeles. Police in Half Moon Bay, just south of San Francisco, say they don't know why a lone gunman targeted eight of his co-workers at two agricultural businesses Monday night, killing seven of them. All the evidence we have right now points to a workplace violence incident. Investigators say 66-year-old Chun-Li Zhao worked at one of the farms and that he used a legally purchased semi-automatic handgun in the incidents. There were no specific indicators that would have led us to believe that he was capable of something like this and he was not uh, known to us. Police tackled and arrested the suspect after he drove himself to the police station. Victims were adults and a mixture of Hispanic and Asian. Only known connection between the victims and the suspect is that they may have been co-workers. Governor Gavin Newsom calls Monday's shooting a tragedy upon a tragedy following the shooting on Saturday here in Monterey Park at Star Ballroom Dance Studio. The L.A. County coroner has now identified all 11 people killed in that shooting, including 68-year-old Valentino Alvaro. His family said he loved people in his community and was the life of any party. Studio owner Mingwei Ma and Mei Mei Nan, whose family says loved to dance, also died. Investigators are still trying to determine why the elderly Asian suspect targeted the dance studio. Police say he took his own life as they approached a van hours after the killings. And late Monday, one person died and at least seven others were injured at a shooting at a gas station in Oakland. Max Darrow, CBS News, Monterey Park, California.